and suicide bombings are okay? Yes, of course, it's okay. Sniper squads, assassinations, chemical weapons. يعني أنا حتى لو أستطيع أن أسمم آبار المياه التي يشرب منها الجنود الأمريكان في العراق هو حلال لي جائز لي مثل ما هو يفعل. You were teaching jihad. I am now also teaching jihad. You must know. And against American soldiers, you must know this also. Now and future. Are American soldiers legitimate targets in Iraq? We could take. American civilians. What's the difference between American civilian and Norwegian civilians? No different. What about journalists? Paul Moran, an Australian journalist, died in an attack carried out by your group. Where he was? He was working for Australian Broadcasting Corporation. No, he was with your soldiers. He was wearing the words press on his chest, wasn't he? Kevin, Kevin. Do you regret his death? أنا لم يبقى دموع حتى أسيلها لأجلكم أو لأجل الأسترالي. Earlier we were talking about jihad. Were the the bombings of the USS Cole, the U.S. embassy in Kenya, 9/11, are those uh, defensive? I didn't say that it was jihad. So to be clear, then you do not support the 9/11 attacks. I say that the people in America need this reaction. Are you saying that America needed to be taught a lesson? Yes, of course. وما زال يحتاج. Well, Greeker, when when I served in Iraq. Uh, I went over thinking that I would put my life on the line to liberate the Iraqi people, not to occupy. And I served alongside Iraqis that I would call my brothers. I did not serve on an American post. I went to work every day and served on an Iraqi base. There were seven Americans and over 150 Iraqis. I was their guest. You say that I came, I was very safety people, I am civilization man, I belong to America. What do you say? You are one of the soldiers of new Hitler. And you came to kill us. You came to destroy our mosques. You came to, to, to turn our Quran. The United States has branded you a terrorist. The United Nations has branded you a terrorist. This is the Canadians have branded you friend. a terrorist. The Iraqis <laughs> have branded you a terrorist. This the is Jordanians have branded you a this terrorist. This is only by, 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 by one thing. Well, look, Hucker, we're not meeting with you in a vacuum. You have a past. Your past is in Iraq. Your past is jihad. Your present is jihad. And your future is jihad. But I didn't do anything more than any Kurdish which they did. Your group committed suicide bombings, assassinations, against murders of you. civilians. Against you. Not against the civilian people. It's not true. You did this. You did this. Why it is only Ansar al-Islam? This is about what you did in Iraq and you're wanted in Iraq. Iraqi officials went on camera and put in writing assurances that they won't kill or torture you. Those assurances will be passed to Norwegian authorities. كلام هذا قالوا أثناء المحكمة أيضا قالوا ولكن النرويجيين ما ما اقتنعوا بمثل هذا الكلام. فكيف يسلموني إلى بحيرة من دم؟ You've contributed to that life of blood. I think it's um, dreadful. We cannot sit still accepting this to happen. Uh, I traveled down to Iraq and spoke to a number of senior officials there. They not only gave assurances that he wouldn't be tortured or killed, they gave him in writing and asked that we pass those to the Norwegian government. I really cannot understand why the Norwegian authorities haven't been able to, to get this piece of paper themselves. And you have to do the job for them. I, I cannot look at this paper without doing anything about it. So I need to send a copy of this letter to uh, the Prime Minister and um, demand his response. Because this is just crazy. Is this letter helpful? It's very helpful. The only thing that worries me is that it took an American television team to provide the letter. But I, on behalf of, I believe, the majority of the Norwegian people, thank you very much for doing this. Thank you. People are dead. 
killed by an organization that Mullah Krecker admits to having created and fostered. We're now heading over to see Carl Hagen, the vice president of the Norwegian parliament, in an effort to see if there's some way we can affect some positive outcome. He looks down upon the Norwegians, the Norwegian authorities. He feels he, nobody can touch me. They know every, everything, they know what I've done, they know what I'm preaching, and they're doing nothing. If we were to present you with this paper, would that be meaningful? That would, of course, be very meaningful, because I would take that piece of paper and demand that we get in touch with the Iraqi authorities and arrange for the transportation of Ulla Krekar back. You have been doing what the Norwegian authorities should have been doing, looking into all opportunities for returning Mullah Krekar. And I think Mullah Krekar will be returned this autumn, and that's probably going to be thanks for the work you've done. Only hours before this broadcast, the foreign minister of Norway went on national television to announce that his country has entered into direct negotiations with Iraq to find a way to extradite Mullah Krekar. He vowed, quote, Mullah Krekar will be deported from Norway. Next Monday, a new target on The Wanted. This guy is ground central for Al-Qaeda. And he's walking the streets of one of America's closest allies. The danger is real. They might kill him, and they might kill us in the process. All in the name of justice. I think we all want to see this guy put away for a very, very long time. The hunt is on. That looks like him. Get ready to move. Picked him up. I got him. Hold on tight. Suspect car is crossing the bridge. This guy's definitely trying to burn us. The Wanted. Next Monday at 10, 9 central on NBC.